Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. I feel like my camera's a little bit crooked, so I do apologize. We're talking Scentsy Clearance today. I'm like, I rushed home. I had to get this box open. So I really wanted to share with you guys what I got. Um, I have to be honest, there were so many good things in the clearance section. At first, I was like being good. And I'll show you that so first, like I was being like, I don't want to say selective, but I was like, okay, I'm not going to go overboard. I'm going to be good. And then I went back in. Did anybody else go back in? I know, <laughs> I know I watched Lisa Roberry's video and she was like, I went in a couple times and I was like, I went in twice. And people were commenting too, like, yep, that was me. So I was like, okay, at least I'm not the only one. You know what I mean? Because at first I was like, crap i should have just done it all at the beginning but you know whatever um so i did i did some damage i guess you could say but i got a couple things the first time which i will be showing you and then like i said i went back in and i went a little crazy so while i was being good i tried to of course we didn't know what was going to be added to the clearance section except for the 10 pack of bring back my bars for 40 dollars um the clearance section is pretty picked over at this point. Not to say there's not still good things in there, but it is pretty picked over. So I was just kind of like glancing and as I saw good things, I added them into my cart and I like checked out cause I didn't want to get like card jacked or anything. And then the rest of it happened. So when I was in there the first time, the first thing I saw that I had to pick up one more of was the Dumbo Circus Parade scent pack. I got two of these when these were on closeout, but I was like, while well, they're here in the clearance section, I may as well just pick up another one. I really don't think they're bringing this scent back. Of course, I don't know anything, but to be on clearance and to be discontinuing this scent, it just makes me doubtful. Uh, but that only means they're making room for new stuff, but it is really sad because I do love this scent. So I did pick up one more scent pack. I wasn't trying to go crazy. Like I said, I was trying to be good. So I love this scent, have the bar in my club, but wanted to get one more scent pack. Uh, while I was scrolling along in there. The next thing that came up was actually the Holiday Oil 3-pack. I really, really wanted this, uh, but when it got discontinued, like when the Holiday Collection went away, I was actually on my no-buy, which meant I was not buying anything, so I did not purchase these. So I'm gonna open these up and sniff these really quickly. I really wanted both the um is it was it the harvest collection like the what am i trying to say like the fall one like the harvest and then they also had the holiday but this was the only one in there so it comes with three scents in here let's open them so the first one is fig cookie it looks like this the notes are fig cookie accented by vanilla and a sprinkle of cinnamon will ring in the holidays right this is for the holidays obviously but it was discounted that smells interesting. It smells like a cookie, but like, I don't know what a fig smells like, but I feel like there's something else in here which has to be that. I feel like this is gonna smell so good when it's diffusing because it's not like overpowering cinnamon or anything like that. Mm, I'm excited. Okay, the next one, and these are just like mini bottles, so they're not like super intense. I don't know. I feel like you get a good variety in this three pack and they're not super big. So if you're like, oh, I don't really like the scent. It's easy to like mix and like match and stuff like that. Uh, so the next one's Peppermint Everything, which is, looks like this cute little red bottle. It says cool peppermint coupled with frosted vanilla is a bona fide seasonal sensation. So I've really been into peppermint lately. So I'm excited this was in here. Oh yeah, that just smells like straight up peppermint. Also heard peppermint is good for um like headaches and stuff do you guys know anything about that so i actually have a peppermint oil but i was excited that's included in this little pack um the last one is holiday shortbread here it is it's kind of light so you might not be able to see it the notes are just baked shortbread infused with vanilla in rich buttercream frosting oh this one is good Oh, that is really, really good. This is kind of like marshmallow buttercream, but like amped up on the vanilla. 
I got some more myself. Oh, that's really, really good. And I'm, I'm a bakery person, so I will admit, but I could easily mix that with the other two to like amp up those as well with a little more bakery. I'm really excited I picked this up. So yes, like I said, I was really kicking myself for not getting this when it was released. So here we go. Um, the next thing I came across in the clearance section was these pods in that kind of freaked out the camera sorry in pink haze here they are it's, they're like staticky kind of so this is kind of like a berry like berries and vanilla I think that's what I'm getting I'm getting kind of like another note in there that I can't put my finger on but yeah, I'm really excited to have these. I was not around when Pink Haze was around, so I was excited to swoop them up. I think these might still be in there. Not sure, but I'm excited to have these now officially. And then while I was doing my I'm being a good person, not spending too much money order, they had some Winterberry Apple Tea products in there, which were part of the holiday collection that I really wanted. Sold out. I was on my, my no buy. You guys know. So the first one was the Sugar Scrub. So I'm so excited to get my hands on this. You guys, I love the Sensi Sugar Scrubs and I love Winterberry Apple Tea. But I think what I'm most excited about is this big bag of Scentsy Soak and Winterberry Apple Tea. So I love the Scentsy Soaks. These are huge. They're two pounds. Like, they're hefty. Um, and Winterberry Apple Tea smells so good. I actually have it in a couple warmers in this room right now. Um, so I'm so excited. I'll probably keep this around for more towards the holidays just because I'm using some of my, like, sprayer ones right now. And I don't know, like... This got discontinued, so will it come back? I have no idea, but I'm gonna hold on to it, you know, just in case. But I can't wait to dive into that. I'm very excited. So that was my first little I'm being good haul. And then I went back in for a couple things. Uh, the first thing you will have seen in the thumbnail, so it is the crystallized blue warmer. So I really wanted this when it was released. It sold out really fast and then they brought it back for a bit. And then, um, I don't know if it sold out officially again, but obviously the collection went away. I'm just gonna open it briefly to make sure nothing's broken. I probably won't put it together because it's very sparkly. Uh, but here is the dish. It's got like a nice blue kind of teal dish. Can you see that color? Um, the number on the bottom is a four, so it's pretty deep as you can see and I will this is seasonal to me for winter So I'll be putting it in my stash for When winter comes around Okay, I'm just making sure nothing's broken uh, When you get your warmers typically if they have a light bulb, it's shoved in the middle of the warmer You guys I'm so excited, okay Here's what it looks like. I'm gonna get glitter everywhere. Oh, look at it. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. And then the light bulb goes right down there in the middle. Um, it's not super tall. It's maybe like the size of my head, as you can see. Uh, there's a cutout in the back for your cord. It's so cute, you guys. So I figured since this was on sale, and I wanted it and I was going back in for those other things I was like I'm gonna kick myself if it, it was in there and I don't pick it up because I didn't pick it up when it came back um, when they had like re-released it uh, you do get a bit of glitter not that glitter offends me but it does to some people so just be aware I got all kinds of bubble wrap going on so I'm so excited about that one. I do believe it's 25 watts. It is. So there you go. It is glass though. So I just think it's so pretty, especially for the um, like holiday season. So that will be going into the closet for the holidays. <sighs> then I did some brick damage, you guys. Um... I definitely did some brick damage. I'm addicted to bricks, I have to be honest. So let's just talk about them before I 
before I just like try to make an excuse, let's just jump into it. So the first one you guys meet might be like, you're literally insane. No one likes that scent. But I really like this scent and I actually took it out of my club. So I'm really happy this came into the clearance section. It's ghostly greetings. I know what you're thinking. You're an idiot. No one likes this. I actually almost bought a brick of this off my sponsor um, back when like she was my consultant, she had a brick and she offered it to me. And at the time I was like, that's a lot of wax. Like, you know what I mean? I was just like, but I was considering it in the back of my mind. I had it in my club. I love this brick or I love this like scent, but I just needed to make room in my club. So I removed it. It's so good. <laughs> it's exactly what I want it to be, but I know people didn't really like this scent. Oh, it's like plum and fruity, but it has like patchouli and like a peppery note. It's so good to me. It's the old packaging for bricks too. So I don't know. It's I've never had a brick with this packaging. I've only had the new bricks, so I'm really excited. Um, yeah, you guys, I had to get my hands on this. Like I said, I took it out of my club. So the fact that I have this, I feel a little bit better now that I have it out of my club because this will last me for quite a while. Um, and I feel like if I just use this around like the fall season, I'll feel content about it now that I have this big brick. So I may have been the only person who bought this out of the clearance section because I know people were not, not super fans toward that scent. Uh, the next brick I picked up, this was also a scent of the month. It is Walnut Raisin Muffin. I love this scent. So when I saw that there was a brick available, this um, was a scent of the month before I was a consultant. These are kind of hard to open. This one's a little bit broken in the middle, but this is so good. I feel like I get the cinnamon more in this brick than I do in my bars actually, but I don't know if it's just like a bigger surface area. I can smell more, but I feel like I'm getting a little bit more cinnamon bakery than I do in my actual bars that come in my club just uh off initial impression so i do have it in my club it'll probably stay in my club honestly i'm so glad they went to the circles from the squares on the back these are really hard to close with that old packaging i don't like that um so yes i'm really really happy i have this one but this one will likely stay in my club even though i have this break but anyway next also a scent of the month the last scent of the month i bought i didn't need this, but I love this scent. It's Arctic Kiss. So I already have a brick of Arctic Kiss because I did get this as the scent of the month brick. This one's also broken. That's kind of a bummer. Can you see that? It's cracked here and here. This scent is so good and it's even better warming. I don't think this is available anymore, so I'm really, really sorry. I don't even know that you can add this to your club still. Um, but there's a chance that they may bring it out in the future again. Speculation on my part, but I'm just saying they could. It was very, very popular. It's like melons and it has like a cool air mintiness to it. Oh, it's just like fresh and it's so good warming. It smells so much better warming. Like it smells good in the plan, but warming it is like phenomenal and it's so strong also in my club, but wanted to stock up. So uh, the next ones I got, because some of these I already have, some of these are in my club and I got the brick to take them out of my club to make some room. So the first one is Crimson Berry Christmas. This one smells like Tis the Season from Bath and Body Works. It's really, really good, but I feel like now that I have a brick, and I actually already have another brick of this, I can take it out of my club because it is pretty seasonal. Um, and I feel like now that I have this, I feel content and I could make some room in my club. So that's probably what I'll do. So <laughs> um, this one is staying in my club because it's not going anywhere. It's one of my favorites. It's marshmallow mint cocoa. I have a brick of this as well, but I love this one. So it's staying. It's chocolatey marshmallow minty goodness it's so good you guys I love, it. I love every minute of it 
if this one's still available and you only pick up one brick, pick up this brick because it's so good. The last one I got because I will likely take it out of my club as well is salted caramel toffee. So this is a caramel scent, but it is not cloying to me. It has, um, it has like a, like you get the butterscotch, which I feel like is a deeper, like not just super sugary cloying caramel. It's a little bit of a different, gives it a little bit of a different vibe, if you know what I mean. But it's so good. This one's so good mixed, but it's a beautiful bakery. If you're sensitive to caramel or butterscotch, this one might be questionable for you, but it's so good. So I may remove this from my club now that I have this big brick. I should, I should remove it from my club now that I have this brick. So, I mean, I got a hefty amount of bricks, <laughs> to say the least, <laughs> but I am brick obsessed, what can I say? So that is everything I got. It's kind of a hodgepodge, um, but like I said, I kind of tried to be good and then I went off the rails and got all these bricks and the warmer. What do you do? So what did you guys pick up from the clearance section? I am so excited. I, I know a bunch of my customers picked up some really good things, including some of the Bring Back My Bar. So I was very excited for them to try them. That was such a good deal. 10 bars for $40. That's $4 a bar. That's such a good deal. So yes, let me know what you guys picked up below. Um, I'm so excited that there were so many good options in this clearance update. Like I couldn't believe it. So <laughs> I need to go put all this stuff away now. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.